under a Chicago moon, two hot dog places do battle in the city of Chicago. We got Maxwell's over here. And original gyms over here. It's a special week of raw dogging with the tank. Take me out for some hot dogs. Chicago, place for its hot dogs well known. And you know, there's only one original, and that's Jim's original. They've been serving the hot dogs and the Polish sausages the same way. They grill it up and you eat them. Used to be on Maxwell Street, but they were forced to move 20 years ago, but now they're on Union and they're still thriving. 83 years, people come here. Jim's original. They're the, old, the OG when it comes to hot dogs. We'll see if they're good enough to pass the tank. Taste test. They love throwing these fries at you. Yeah. They love throwing these fries at you. When you're in Chicago, you get everything you want. But the hot dogs is what we want to try. And this is the hot dog. You see it in the nice little dirty water, kind of dirty water style hot dog. Vienna beef, it's almost like anything else is illegal in Chicago. Good bun, steamed bun. Let's see how it tastes. Excellent snap! Excellent snap! This is a triple. No doubt about it, absolute triple. Polish sausage. They're the ones that invented this style of Polish sausage grill. Look at that charring. This looks beautiful. This looks delicious. Let's see how it tastes. Ratio, by the way, great fun to dog ratio. Sticks out the bun, jumbo, huge. And of course, you got fries. It's in Chicago, you gotta have your fries. What else do you think? Of course, you gotta have your saw. Don't leave home without it. Fry. I'm gonna give the fry a 6.4. You know, there's a reason why Jim's has been around for over 80 years, because they have quality product. That snap was fantastic. And you know, they're the ones that invented the Maxwell Street taste, Maxwell taste. 
and they all let you forget it. Now, I don't like mustard myself, but theirs was the mustard and onions. And even though they're not on maximum anymore, they haven't been there since 1994, the smell of the onions is still associated with that area. You know, that's why we go raw doggy. So click like, subscribe, you'll be notified when I do new videos. And also tell me where I should go next. And don't forget, buy this shirt. You'll be raw dogging with me. Either raw dogging on the road or the classic shirts. Because that's what raw dogging is about. And never forget, keep raw dogging. And I think I know where I'm going to go next. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about and it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strike out and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> on the road again. Gee, I can't wait to get on the road again. Going to all dog in places that I've never been. And I can't wait to get on the road again. You don't have to wait for me to get on the road again. You can order this nice new shirt, raw dogging on the road. And when I'm on the road again, you better believe I'll be carrying this shirt with me. You can get it right now at the Barstool store.